you all. Welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Rad Kutaro. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, or uh, if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you are going to see a link to my website where you can view and purchase uh, either or both of these services. So with that being said, moving to the Aquarius reading straight away, the first card we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Hierophant. Can you see it? Yep. All right. So the Hierophant, followed by uh, the Six of uh, Swords. Moving next, what we do have, that is going to be the Knight of uh, Cups, followed by the four of swords and the last one we do have for you that is going to be the seven of uh, pentacles these uh, these five cards right so let's hold on a second going at the start of the week here with the hierophant um <clears throat> it's kind of like at that point aquarius you are gonna Oh my God, I, it's so difficult to describe it. So, the, the Hierophant here stands for at the start of the week, you are going to uh, put a value into every single thing you are going through or every single thing you are, you are doing at that particular point. That is because at this stage of the week, you will not concern yourself with, with what kind of a, a, a benefits you are going to get from it, but instead how much sense that something have for you. Uh, and I will try to give you an example, you know, um, say your job, uh, you may make a bunch of money from that job, but you may find that that job doesn't make sense for you. It doesn't make you happy. It doesn't make you feel productive. It's like you are doing nothing. And it, it may feel like you are wasting your time. And that is just an example. It may feel that your job is great and you are doing it, you know, because you like doing it. And it's because that is something that makes sense for you. But this is, this is what you are going to do at the start of the week. And that itself is going to lead you to have a very, uh, how can I say, profound conversations with, with people that, are, uh, that already walked your steps uh, and you're going to face a benevolent support from these people. And uh, I'm not saying that you are going to withdraw from things that doesn't make any sense for you at that particular point, but you are going to talk with these people uh, with the question or addressing these people with the question, why it doesn't make sense? Am I doing something wrong? So you're going to address the problems into your situations. And through these, uh, through these conversations about, uh, you know, why you are not feeling satisfaction, for example, from, from your relationship, let's say, or why you are not feeling a content into your career, but you do have a good job, let's say, uh, the, the problem of that is going to appear in front of you and you are going to be amazed to see that the, the resolution of this problem, it is just within the framework of your environment. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, you know, you don't have to do something miraculous or you don't have to put any mighty efforts into it it's just it's a very simple answer it's a very simple resolution and it is it is pretty much the 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 resolution that first comes in mind but you just have to be had to be directed to it and uh, very recently i had a situation about it uh, very similar to that and while four people of us was, were trying to, how can I say, to brainstorm the situation, somebody came about and say, look, you know, the, 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 the answer to that is very simple. It's, it's pretty much you have to do it that, that and that because that's fair and, and that will be it. Otherwise, somebody is going to feel like it's unfair for them. And they were right. So, yeah, I mean, it, simply you are going to th talk with people that they have the same thing you are trying to establish and it works for them. So you will, you, you will want to know why and how does it work for them so you can, trans, um, how can I say, 
um, transfer that, uh, that behavior or that performance into your thing. Now, that being said, at the start of the week, at, um, or what that leads to at the start of the week, it is that into your career, Aquarius, you are going to start attending to the things or to the tasks and to the, uh, and to the uh, enterprises uh, because that will make sense for you. While they may bring you a lot of benefits at the end, that is not going to be your concern. You will want to do your part to the best of your abilities because this is what the hierarchy or the, the universe dictates and the benefits, they're going to find you on their own accord. Even if they're not signed up in the contract, it could be a, a, it could be a, a additional stimulation, bonuses, etc., etc. Relationship-wise, uh, the Hierophant refers above everything else, trust, okay, trust. And that will be the question you will ask yourself at the start of the week. How much trust I do have into the person I, I, I am interested in or into the, um, you know, my, my wife, my, my husband, etc. Some uh, Many of you are going to find that they have unconditional trust. Others, not that much. But the point is that here at the start of the week, you are going to realize with the Hierophant that if you do not have trust in somebody, you can love them as much as you want. You can never be in a peaceful and harmonious relationship with that. And uh, with that realization, you're going to move to uh, to pretty much uh, quench the, uh, the trust that it is in there or to rebuild the trust if the trust is, uh, how can I say, deteriorating or diminishing. And right after the, how can I say, the answers that uh, you're going to have, about how to make your life making more sense than ever. Uh, we do have the Six of Swords, and that is the action. So having the answer is one thing, performing it or applying it is completely different. And the Six of Swords here points um, of uh, that thing that if you do have a dream about something, if you do have a wishful thought about having something, about having harmony into your relationship, about having a, a good performance in your job, is that thought, is that, is that wish enough to get you there? The answer is no. You have to do something about it. And here you are going to face the threshold okay of the unknown what happens if i say what i have what i want to say what happens if i do what i want to do and at that stage doing nothing or saying nothing is worse than doing anything or saying anything so here you need to realize that in reality there is nothing for you to be afraid of anything you do or anything you say according to these cards to this card is going to be better than doing nothing or saying nothing and and what you want to say and what you want to do is going to be a result of these let's call them revelations at the start of the week that what you do needs to make sense to you aside from having the benefits at the end of it what you get in return also needs to make sense to you here and um, after that we do have the knight of cups which is a person that shows up into your environment and that is someone who accolades you for what you are to do here in the six of swords you know that fearful action that fearful decision you know or that fearful speech that beforehand you have been afraid to to act upon and this person accolades you because what what they, what example they're going to give you it is that you at the end of the day you have to find yourself happy i mean at the end of the day all that you do is about uh to when you go to the, to bed at the end of the day you feel satisfied you feel content you feel fulfilled and uh, also the example that this person Knight of Cups is going to give you, it is the same one that you will come to your own realization. But at that stage of the week, your realization may not be enough. And this is the realization that if you do have a dream, guys, you got to do something about it. The universe may not may, may give you the the uh, how can I say uh, the circumstances may give you the means, you know, may give you the chance. But you got to take that chance. You need to do something about it. That's why the Knights of uh, Cups, these people, they always uh, rely on themselves more than anything else. If they want something, they do anything they can to get it. 
uh, because they are driven completely by the dreams of their heart and they don't care about anything else whatsoever. And here the example of them giving it to you, it is that you should do the same thing. I mean, you want something, strive for it, go for it. I mean, act for it here instead of hoping that it's going to uh, happen on its own accord. Uh, and that is something that, uh, you know, happens very frequently um, into my private readings uh, recently. Uh, people asking, you know, uh, Am I going to find love or when I'm going to find love? Well, you ain't going to find love if you sit on your couch all day long, hoping that the love is going to find you on its own accord. You got to go out, date, you know, uh, right now it's very difficult with the pandemic, you know, but you can sign up for a dating websites, dating apps, etc., etc., you know, uh, and so on and so forth. It's just you got to be active about it. And this is what the reading is all about, especially with the first card, which is the Hierophant. That is, uh, that is a card pointing that things happen according to what, how they are supposed to happen. You know, you want to be with somebody, well, you, you need to reach out, okay? Uh, you want to get engaged to somebody, well, then you have to follow the structure. You first get introduced, then date, you know, then start living together and then, uh, you know, plan the future. There, there is a specific way how things happen, okay? And you got to follow that way. You cannot take three steps for the straight of one. It is just with this, with this, in this week, at least that is not going to be possible, but you got to make those steps. Those steps are not going to be made for you. And that is the example that the Knights of Cups is going to give you here. And it will be quite refreshing, to be honest, and it's not going to be something bruising in your face. And you, you know, for you to feel bad, you know, that uh, you are kind of like wasting your time or anything up until this far. This just is going to be a confirmation that what you came up as a conclusion here into the fire, into the Hierophant card, these benevolent um, support through conversations that you're going to have through counseling. It's actually the right thing for you to do. It is just the uh, reassurance that you're going to have. And right after the appearance of this person, we do have the Four of Swords. And uh, that card, again, puts you in a state of mind or in a state of thought because the Four of Swords, it's, it's a card where you uh, find yourself in a peaceful environment. I mean, here you will have no problems whatsoever. And uh, this piece should be used for you to build up the plan. So you do have the awareness you do realize that you do have to act upon that awareness. And now comes the plan how to do it with the four of bonds here. It's, it's very, how can I say? Um, it's very common, I will say it that way. Uh, people to seclude themselves with only one, uh, with only uh, one individual other than them, okay? Uh, into a company and to start deliberating what is going to be the best thing one to do moving forward and above everything else, how. Now at that stage with the four of uh, swords for your queries, it's highly likely that you are gonna come up, you know, with the true emotions you do have. If you are in an emotional upheaval thus far, not knowing what to do, you don't know, do you love somebody or not? Do you not, you don't know, do you like something or not? At that stage with the Four of Swords, you're going to come clear with your emotions. You, you will answer to yourself what you want uh, in order to become happy. And uh, through the absence of, uh, of problems that you're going to have at that stage, you may, uh, you may kind of like have a, or you're going to have a clear vision what is to follow from now on. And uh, according to me, or at least my impression here from the car, is that you will be, you will be able to systemize uh, one of the best to-go lists that you have systemized thus far. And uh, right after that, we do have the Seven of Pentacles, and that is one more card here and that is the final stage of your preparations and here as you do have defined to yourself you know what is going to make sense for you and what you got to do and how to do it and you do have all the examples you need now it's time to think of what you're going to get from it and that is where the seven of pentacles comes about oh man and um this isn't a question of 
should I do it or not? You have already decided by that stage of the week. Now the question is, how much should I do with the Seven of Pentacles? And the answer for each one of you is going to be different. But rest assured here for you, Aquarius, uh, this week that comes about to you, March 1st up until March 7th, it's not going to be crazy active one, you know, where you do accomplish many things at once at least according to these cards no but it's gonna be a week where instead of wasting your time and effort to try something and see that isn't working out through exceptional analysis that you are going to make and personal astute awareness that you are gonna have after the week ends whatever you do initiate you are going to never feel uh, deprived at the end of it because you are going to know what you are signing up for and what to expect at the end and your expectations is going to be completely fulfilled. So that being said Aquarius, uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading guys, um, March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye!